August 2023 was another crazy month for alleged Chicago gang members. 22 alleged gang members died from Chicago, from two members getting backdoored by the same set to a member even overdosing on drugs. A member even got stabbed by his girlfriend this month, August 1st, 2023. This first member would be from a well-known set, which would be 051 Young Money. 24-year-old Theodric Williamson, aka Mainsky, was in the 4500 block of Provincetown Drive when he was stabbed multiple times at the approximate time of 9.30 a.m. He would then be taken to Advocate South Suburban Hospital where he would die. This would be the first alleged gang member that would die on the month of August. Only about five hours later on the same day at 12.56 p.m., Glenn Weston Jr., aka Bosky, from the Hardy Way E-Block set, was in a Douglas home in the 3500 block of South Rose Avenue when he was approached by multiple unknown offenders who pulled out a gun and fired multiple shots at him. He was taken to University of Chicago Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Allegedly, he was FBG Wooski's brother too. Then, unbelievably, on the same day, in the nighttime hours, a bird way Foley boys member will lose their life. Police say that Tuesday night, Jeffrey Hudson, aka Lil Jeff, was driving in the 5300 block of South Low Avenue when suddenly someone fired shots. Unsure if he crashed or took himself to the hospital, but he died at the University of Chicago Medical Center at only the age of 37 from a gunshot wound to the back. It would then be the next day on August 2nd, 2023. This guy was allegedly shot and killed in Third Block Hood, and he was from the OTL set. Foley Boys. It was in the later hours of the night around 10.30 p.m. when Jacari and Johnson aka Kari from the OTL set was found unresponsive in the 800 block of West 54th Street. He was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead at only the age of 18. On the next day on August 3rd, 2023, Kyle East aka K Money from the Paxtown 071 set was arguing with someone in his own hood in the 7100 block of South Jeffrey Bush Boulevard when K Money pulled out a gun and began shooting, but then a nearby security guard pulled out his gun and shot K Money multiple times. He was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. Three days would go past before another gang member would die. It would be August 6, 2023. Shelby Redman, aka SHITTY, allegedly from the KTC set, was in the 1200 block of South Ashland Avenue at about 12.04 a.m. when some Someone shot him multiple times. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition but later died from his injuries. Then on August 9th, 2023, Trayvon Moore, aka Trigger from the Shield set, was found by family members just before 2 p.m inside a home in the 4900 block of South Maplewood Avenue. He had suffered from multiple gunshot wounds to the head and was pronounced dead at the scene. Then on the same day around 2.45 p.m., a Rudeville slash THF 44 member would die. This would be the second loss that Rudeville would take this year. Jajon Jamon, aka JJ, was near an alley in the 1100 block of West 78th Street when someone shot him in the head and the chest. He was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he died at only the age of 18. Then on August 10th, 2023, Travell Adams, aka Astronaut Tot, from the DMG FBC set, was inside a car in the 6400 block of South Augustine Avenue, when someone pulled him out the car and shot him multiple times just after 5 p.m. He was shot in the leg and arm and was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where he died. This next person, though, wouldn't be killed by gun violence. It would be August 10th, 2023, Taurine Henson Jr. Junior aka Ant Money from the B-Gang Harlem Boys said allegedly overdosed on drugs on this day, which these guys are located around Madison and Carlove, which are mostly conservative vice lords and four corner hustlers. But then seven days will go past before another alleged gang member would die and then things will ramp up again. August 17th, 2023, Edward Black Jr. aka Trey from Shorty Gang would be found around 6.36 p.m. on 45th and Paulina. He had gunshot wounds to the shoulder and growing and was rushed to Stroger's hospital where he would die at only the age of 17. He was allegedly in cycle size hood when he got shot. August 20th, 2023, Brandon Hatcher Jr. aka Lil Brando from the Suwu TTB set, which is allegedly an extinct set. He was in the 800 block of North Orleans Street at around 3.36 a.m. 
p.m. when a white SUV pulled up and someone inside opened fire. He was struck multiple times in his body and was taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he was pronounced dead. He was only 24 years of age and his car was riddled with bullet holes as an aftermath. On that same day on August 20th, 2023, at around 4 p.m., an alleged gang member would die while he was in jail. Typical New County jail officers would respond to an alert of a medical emergency. When they arrived at his cell, they found Cordaro Curtis, aka Daro from Pocket Town, unresponsive from self-inflicted wounds. He was 29 years of age at his death, but the reason he was locked up because on May 6th at around 5.30 p.m., Curtis allegedly fired between two to four shots into a parked car in the 1200 block of Burberry Drive. One of the bullets struck Curtis's ex-girlfriend, shattering the bones in her arm. She was transported to the hospital for surgery. But listen to this, while officers was at the scene, Curtis used social media messaging apps to try to persuade the people that was in the car to mislead the officers. Then on the next day on August 21st, 2023, John Quill Dehart, aka Johnny Ford from the Sickle Mob set, was found unresponsive in an alley at about 11.25 p.m. in the 1500 block of South St. Louis Avenue. He was found with multiple gunshot wounds to the face and body and was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where he was pronounced dead at 11.56 p.m. Allegedly, this next guy backdoored Johnny Four, and it was from the same set, Sickle Mall. It was the next day on August 22nd, 2023. Darius Walker, aka Lil D from Sickle Mall, was the one that allegedly killed Johnny Four and took his gun the day before he died. Lil D allegedly came to Johnny Four's memorial the next day. It was around 8 p.m. when he got there. He allegedly tried to get away and crawled in the back seat of a car while they shot him. This all happened in the 1500 block of South Trumbull Avenue. He was only 25 at the age of his death and three other people were wounded from gunfire. So this situation that Lil D died, this was definitely a backdoor situation. He allegedly was off perks when he backdoored Johnny Four and Sickle Maw backdoored Lil D the next day he went to the memorial which is crazy. August 26, 2023, Jerry Carter, aka Pistol P from the Lavender Mob FSG set, was found by officers in the 2500 block of West Monroe Street at about 4 a.m. He was found with gunshot wounds to the chin and ankle. He was taken to Strogus Hospital where he died at only the age of 30. Two days later on August 28th, a THF 46 member would die. Tiffin Johnson Jr. aka T Shooter was in the 1000 block of West 77th Street when he was shot in the head and was pronounced dead at the scene at only the age of 23. These last days of the month, gang members would die back to back. On the same day on August 28th, at around 6.15 p.m., Sir Marman, aka Lil Carl from the 5th City set, was in the 3400 block of West 5th Avenue when he was shot multiple times. He was then taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where he died. Another man was also shot too and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. But then on the same day on August 28th, another member would die so this would make the third member that would die in one day. Leroy Dean aka Lil J slash Leroy from the OTN set was in the 200 block of West 110th Street when he got shot and was suffering from gunshot wounds to the arm, chest and head. He was allegedly in Princetown hood when he got shot and was pronounced dead at the scene. He was only 21 years of age when he died. This next guy though wouldn't die from gun violence. It would be August 29th, 2023. Craig Davis aka Swervo slash Swag from the Danny Mob set, who was also a well-known rapper too, would pass away due to an overdose on this day. He was from out west and this was the third loss for Danny Mob this year. But the next day on August 30th, 2023, a well-known member that was allegedly known for putting in work would die. His name was Trayvon Mackey, aka Trey Trey from the JMG 10 gang set, which I just did a crazy documentary on the war that they have in around that area. But on this day around 7.20 p.m., he was driving in the northbound lanes of Interstate 94 between 137th Street and 147th Street when he was shot multiple times while he was driving and ended up crashing due to him being shot multiple times. He was transported to the local hospital where he died from his injuries. Then on August 31st, a black gate member would die. Michael Roberts, aka Mikey, was stabbed multiple times by his girlfriend at around 12.40 p.m. right in the 6300 block of South King Drive. He was pronounced dead at the scene. This would be the last member that would die on the month of August of 2023, which would mark 22 gang members that would die. This would be a crazy month 
But this will be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed, stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.